we want to evaluate the given expression. Following the order of operations, the first step is to simplify within the parentheses, which means we begin by determining the differences in the parentheses. In order to add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which is a least common multiple of the denominators. So for 6 25ths minus 7 50ths, 50 is the least common multiple of 25 and 50, and therefore 50 is the least common denominator, which means we need to write 6 25ths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 50, and since 25 times 2 is 50, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. And now for 9 tenths minus 9 twentieths, the least common multiple of 10 and 20 is 20, and therefore 20 is the least common denominator. We need to write 9 tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 20, and since 10 times 2 is equal to 20, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. Notice in the first set of parentheses, we have a common denominator of 50. In the second set of parentheses, we have a common denominator of 20. So the first difference is now 12 fiftieths minus 7 fiftieths divided by, in the second set of parentheses, we now have 18 twentieths minus 9 twentieths. And now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract. For 12 fiftieths minus 7 fiftieths, the denominator remains 50, and the numerator is 12 minus 7, which is 5. And then we have divided by 18 twentieths minus 9 twentieths. The denominator remains 20, and the numerator is 18 minus 9, which is 9. The difference is 9 twentieths. Before we divide, though, notice how we can simplify 5 fiftieths because 5 and 50 share a common factor of 5. To simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by 5. 5 fiftieths simplifies to 1 tenth, giving us 1 tenth divided by 9 twentieths. Dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which means dividing by 9 twentieths is equivalent to multiplying by 20 ninths. So let's write the quotient as a product. We have 1 tenth times, again the reciprocal of 9 twentieths is 20 ninths. And now we multiply the numerators and denominators. In the numerator we have 1 times 20. In the denominator we have 10 times 9. Before determining these products though, we will simplify out any common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator. Notice 10 and 20 share a common factor of 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2, or because there are two 10s in 20, the 20 simplifies to 2. And 10 divided by 10 is 1, or because there's 1, 10, and 10, the 10 simplifies to 1. And now the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is 1, and therefore we can determine the products and know the fraction will be simplified. In the numerator we have 1 times 2. In the denominator we have 1 times 9. The expression simplifies to 2 ninths. I hope you found this helpful.